What's up guys, it's Graphic Phoenix, back with another video today, and today I'm coming at you with a couple updates and some things that I want some information about. So, stay tuned and let's get started. You know in the last Reptile Room tour, these guys were absent, but I fed them this morning. This is Bowser sitting over there, and Stella sitting right there. They're both packed full of crickets, so I'm not going to bug them too much, but... That's them. They're doing awesome. I know some people were disappointed they didn't show up in the Reptile Room Tour, but that was one heck of a Reptile Room Tour, and I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you haven't seen it yet, I'll leave a link on the screen right now, as well as in the description down below, and you can go check that out. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I figured I'd just show you Bowser and Stella. They're both doing good. I haven't seen any breeding activity, which kind of sucks, but that's life. In the secondary plant cage I guess if you want to call it as you can see there are a couple things missing the coffee tree and the ivy both got infested with spider mites it looks like and I'm checking on these to make sure they don't have any either they very well could um, I know this guy doesn't but I don't know if my my, uh, this guy does or not. There's like black things under the leaves. I don't know if you guys can see that. Little black specks under there. So I'll investigate that. Uh, it doesn't look like they got to the cactus. Alright, so it doesn't look like they got to the cactus, but I also did mount the air plants. That's the first one. And the second one, they're just held on by like garden stuff wire I guess. My mom had it ages ago and I decided to use it to mount these. They look awesome. I really like them in this cage but I'm just making sure this is completely mite free and I'll show you in just a minute what else I'm putting in there. Uh, I figured I'd let you know that those died though or um, they're not in the room anymore. These two orchids I'm actually giving to my buddy. He's setting up a planted tank and I'm getting a bunch of new things coming in here in the next couple months, so I figured, okay, I'll give you these, like, I got so many more plants coming in, I don't need to keep these guys around, uh, so I'm not going to, and under that, you can see, the same guy that I'm actually giving the orchids to was borrowing my 12x12x18 by by while he redid the gargoyles tank, so now I have a back and I can finally start on the build, which I will be filming and I will be uploading, don't worry, like the foam background planted tank build. That's what's kind of going on on that half of my room. My room is a complete disaster, I hope you guys know that. Kai, whose Rango son is doing fantastic. Sheldon, again, fantastic. I will be doing an update on the shrimp tank here right away, so I'm not going to go into that. But this is new to the setup. This I actually just set up. I did film it, so look forward to this video coming on Saturday or Sunday. I haven't decided yet. This is basically the froglet tank, and uh, maybe a little more than a froglet tank. I don't know. Maybe you guys will just have to see. But there's a Monstera acuminata or something like that, a Swiss cheese philodendron. There's some um, red nerve plant and just a random fern that I got at the garden center so like a long time ago it wasn't doing very well so I figured I'd throw it in here and see how it does in the froglet tank there's no froglets in here the tadpoles themselves this guy is the closest and he's actually getting pretty damn close don't know where he is uh, come on homie why are you doing this to me well, you can okay you can see how colorful his back legs are he's almost there he hasn't started quite yet to absorb his tail and his front hands haven't come out yet but they are there probably this guy in here is the next furthest along he's got some good sized legs you guys probably can't see that what I've been doing is basically a weekly water change and a feeding and that seems to increase the growth dramatically. Um, so I'll basically go through, take all of that. I'll have a video on it coming up soon. But I'd go through, take everything out, put it in a new container, move their little sticker saying when they were 
out of water or like out of the egg and then put them back into the new jar with all their accoutrement and stuff. I haven't done this yet. Oh, <laughs> see, that's Turbo. That's my lovely cat, Turbo. I haven't done this yet, but I'm probably going to do it right after the video. I'm basically going to move Striker onto my desk, clear all that off, put him right there, and then move this tank up there, and then I'll end up putting this tank right beside it. It can fit four tanks, I'm hoping it should be able to, and it'll look really, really nice, so I'm super stoked for that. I'm going to be doing that pretty much right after this video. Uh, and I believe I saw a reticulata. I could see it. I don't know if you guys can, though. There we go. Little bit. These guys are getting more and more bold, which is awesome. The Ventry Maculata Borgia Ridge aren't quite so bold. I don't really catch them on camera all that often. But, yeah, I don't see any. I'm not going to even bother. As you saw, I do have a new addition. So I've been really getting into um, basically watching YouTube videos on carnivorous plants, mainly Brad's Greenhouse. Uh, if you haven't checked him out, I'll leave him in the description down below. You can go check him out, as well as Plants and Things. He's an awesome channel. He's a really good guy. He's got some cool stuff. I have never talked to these guys, so if you want to either go to their Facebook or YouTube or whatever and leave that I am growing carnivorous plants and introduce them to me, go for it. I encourage you to do that. So I just found this at my local garden center. It was ungodly expensive, and I'm hoping to pick some more up at maybe lo local orchid shows or something like that because uh, it was expensive. Uh, I know there's a price tag right there, so uh, <laughs> it was it was about fifty dollars. Uh, stupidly expensive, but I do believe there's actually two plants in here, so I will transplant them individually um, and, and hopefully start them from there. But you can see, uh, apparently the garden center got in six of them on Monday. I bought this on Wednesday, so um, this was probably like the last one. I mean, this was the last one, but it was probably the most picked over. Like you can see, there's some of the pods, I don't know, that were sitting off and, and starting to die. But there's no dead leaves or anything. The plant looks overall healthy. There's no real evidence of, like, there's a little bit of a black spot there, but I don't think there's any evidence of, like, bug infestations or anything along that line. Uh, so it looks awesome. Now, this is a Nepenthes ventrata. Uh, I'll leave, like, a name across the bottom. I'm part of a couple Facebook groups that I posted this and was like, help, I just bought this from the garden center. I have no idea what it is. Uh, they said it's a ventrata. Now, this is my first carnivorous plants. I'm hoping to get more. Because, like, look at this thing. It's so badass. It looks awesome. And I'm actually hoping to move this into there. Um, I don't know how I'm going to do it. Whether I just have, like, a, a pot, like a pot elevator. I don't know. On the bottom. So I have the pods can hang off and and not be touching the ground rather than having it hanging because it's kind of hard to hang from a screen cage so that's probably what I'll end up doing but so after getting that package of dart frog hides from my buddy Fishman Glass if you haven't seen that video go check it out I'm not gonna leave a link but you can go check it out I was debating opening a PO box now I haven't checked to see like how much it'll cost per month or per year or whatever I was just going to let you guys know to gauge some interest, like, would you guys like to send me things, whether it's cards or gifts or whatever. By no means am I saying you have to send me gifts. Don't take it the wrong way. I'm just saying if somebody wants to send me something like that, you can. I'm not going to prohibit it. Uh, but letters and things like that, if you do... So if you guys are interested in that, be sure to let me know because I will actually open one and then I'll have like a mail time vlog whenever I get you know I guess packages letters whatever 
in the P.O. box to make one, I'd make one for you guys. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. That kind of wraps it up. That's all I really wanted to talk about. Um, I will be posting that video this weekend sometime. If you like the video, drop a like. If you want to see more of this kind of content, be sure to subscribe to my channel. I will be making videos on pretty much everything you've seen, whether it's plants, frogs, reptiles, shrimp, whatever. I do make them. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you made it to the very end of this video, in the comment section down below, leave whether I should open a P.O. box or not, and whether you guys would actually do it. Don't say it's a good idea, don't do anything like that. If you personally would send me a letter, or a package, or whatever, leave it in the comment section down below. Have a good one guys, Graphic Phoenix, out of here.